Uh, this is face attack. I uh, stumbled across something on the internet the other day, which is really cool. It's just to turn your old DS, if you've got one without a top screen, basically into a Game Boy Advanced. Um, you know, because if you wanted the best Game Boy Advance, is the Game Boy Micro, um, and they're pretty expensive. And this, you should be able to pick one up on eBay for next to nothing. I got this one for about seven pounds, and um, yeah, you, you do lose the speakers, but you can always plug your headphones in. And you lose all the DS functionality, but it's again good Game Boy Advanced. Um, like I got this other one, which I'm going to show you. It's just someone ripped the screen off. You know, kids these days. But if you don't, when you get them without the top screen, it'll just flicker on for a minute, like this. And most people think, oh no, it's broke, took it away. But uh, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, so if you strip down your Game Boy Advance, get, that, get uh, your DS, get it down to this level, and I'll uh, show you uh, show you what to do next. So once you've got your DS stripped down to this point, which is just taking the bottom off, you want to look for two pins over here. Let's move the screen out of the way. Go to LED A A2. This is top one here. So yeah, this top one here, which is, um, and then you want to. To, um, cross it with this one. You basically want to connect these two together with a resistor. You can, like another one, have an LED. Basically something, um, any size resistor will do really. What you do is tin these two points. You just hold an iron with quite, uh, you know, um, fine tips hold an iron. Not to be too crazy, but... Just tin these points here. Tinned up. Get your cables tinned as well. You want quite thin gauge wire because it's quite it's quite tricky to get it on. Let's hold the one wire on. Oh, I do a better job than I'm doing. Let's hold the other wire on. If you are going to do an LED. The top one needs to be on the positive leg and the bottom one on the negative leg. But I've got a resistor. I think this one's about 100 ohms resistor. Doesn't really matter. Um, we do solder that on. Of course, these points here. And then some of the, this one on. Because if you do just bridge them without any resistor or anything in the way, it just doesn't work. It just comes up black. Just not what I want. I'm just doing it quick now to show you. You could do a better job than look at it and stay at that. Alright, hook your battery up. Mm. Hook it up. And let's see if it works. And voila! And uh, you see what this annoying stuff. Put in your username. That's the only thing is the top screen's not there, so it doesn't tell you where it's like username and stuff. You can just plug that in. You can, uh, yeah, patch it up. And there you go. Jobs are good.